Hello, let's have a discussion about our elliptical orbit. The one in the center is the diagram most commonly used to illustrate the Earth's orbit is elliptical or oval shaped. It should come with a caveat, however, that we'll explore. I won't spend the time to mention every science law and mathematical theorem that I reference. You can feel free to fill them in in the comments. So the Earth's orbit is shaped like an ellipse, not a circle. The Sun is centered at one of the focal points of that ellipse. An ellipse can vary in shape from a straight line all the way to a circle. This gives rise to two phenomena known as the perihelion and the aphelion. The perihelion is when the Earth is closest to the Sun and the aphelion is when it's farthest away. Now then, the second law that we'd like to mention comes from the fact that during the year, equal areas are swept out during equal time frames. So if I draw a line from the sun to the earth, that line will sweep out equal areas in equal time frames. Therefore, the distance traveled per time period is not uniform throughout the year. For example, in this model, I calculated the area of the red, air, uh, red section. The math people can probably guess how I did that. And with an ellipse of this particular shape, I found that when the area was about 3.28, we'll call it 3.3 square units, the arc length was about 4.42 units. Whereas if I did the same thing over at the aphelion, 3.3 square units gave an arc length of only one unit. In this model, during January, the Earth would be orbiting 4.42 times as fast as it would in July. Now, I'm no physicist, but I think that would interrupt the delicate equilibrium that we enjoy today. In real life, it's actually moving only about 1.034 times as fast at perihelion compared to aphelion. And that's because the lower light gray model here is closer to reality. So in conclusion, the squished ellipse that we usually use is good for illustration, but the ellipse that's very close to being a circle is closer to the actual shape. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up, and thanks for watching.